Well, good morning, YouTubers, on this beautiful, cool, uh, early August. Very unusual, kind of cold out here. I mean, this is just uh, something we hardly ever have uh, this time of the year is cold weather, cool weather. Then I am not complaining. Well, you know, I thought I'd come out here the day before I got too busy, and I wanted to tinker around with it and uh, pick these vehicles up last night, as you saw in my earlier video. The old uh, Land Rover and that uh, Ford there, Expedition, uh, the Ford uh, Explorer, and I have another video on it, but I figured I'd go ahead and hook a battery up today to this and see if I could get it running and uh, try to figure out, you know, if it was, um, you know, it's going to be a pain in the butt or maybe I was going to get involved way over my head. So I went ahead and put some uh, just water in it for now because they said it had an antifreeze leak and I heard a couple different stories. Not sure where the leak is, but um, decided to go ahead and do that. Now, um, one thing I learned on this thing, when I first got it, hooked the battery up to it, the horn just went crazy. It kept honking and honking and honking, and I had to uh, do some reading online. And I found out if you have the hood open, and uh, if you have the uh, let's see door unlocked, and you have the key out, and you're trying to get into it or something it's got this anti-theft thing on it and it, it sends a horn nuts so what you got to do is take your key out of the switch which is right here and uh, you can see I got the key in there and I got the cover off because I wanted to inspect some things in there and what you got to do if that happens to you if your horn goes nuts and your um, four-way lights are blinking you gotta shut your all your doors even your hood but you can leave your hood open, and what I did, I put a brick here on this thing here to push down on that sensor, so, you know, the car doesn't think someone's trying to steal it. Sorry about this stupid neighbor dog. And you gotta take your key, and just simply go in here, lock it, unlock it a couple of times, and it'll turn that uh, theft system off. It wants to know if uh, the key you have is actually to this, and it kind of sets off the alarm. So someone's not stealing it so yeah i don't know it's british for you so what i did um i put some water in it i took a battery stuck on it and would you know this thing started right up now uh, i may have to stick my screwdriver back in the throttle here to make it idle a little bit better it does have an idle issue i did hook this um, mass airflow sensor up someone broke it off idiots <laughs> So we'll go ahead and stick this back in here, and we'll go ahead and crank this up. And um, I found out a few things about it. I do have a leak, but nothing major. And the engine is uh, pretty warm, so I shut it off. I grabbed my camera, and I wanted to make document this. So we'll go in here, and uh, we'll start it up. I finally got it uh, out of park. I couldn't get it out of park, and what you got to do is the key has got to be in there, and you got to turn it uh, in ignition. It's kind of weird. So here we go. We're going to start it up. I can't believe it actually runs. So it takes a few seconds for the idle to kind of level out, and I can it'll go right into gear. Although it's idling a little fast, let's just go out here and set the idle down first. And the motor sounds really good. It does have a leak, and I'll show you the antifreeze leak. I want to drop it in gear real quick. And I'll put it down in gear. And whoa, there we go. Don't have much brakes, but it goes. <laughs> Back up a little bit. Pretty awesome, huh? I can't believe it works. Although the, the forward drive system here, this is really stiff. I'm going to have to take this cover off, and I saw some guys on YouTube. Uh, there's a pin in there that's jammed. But it's running. It's idling a little fast. Got to check engine light on. I can't believe it's running. Um, and the windows, uh, they actually work. Let me get the windows. Let's see. This switch here. Yeah. How about that? But I can't get the seats to work. They're both power. And none of them work, so I'll deal with that later. But I'll set the idle down here a little bit more. There we go. Now, if you look closely, right where my finger is, you're right down there. 
I may set the camera down. Well, I'll see. Now it's leaking right there. It's got a leak between the head and the block, so I'm gonna probably have to put a set of head gaskets on it. I was hoping that was a soft plug. But I don't see a soft plug, but I'll have to verify that this afternoon. I was really hoping it was, but I can't get my hand. No, okay, I can see it now. I don't think my camera will zoom in. Oh, maybe it will. Okay. Right about there. So. A little bit of a leak. I'm not too worried, but I found out I can get a complete gasket set online for $50 which is awesome but I am stoked this thing actually runs it goes into gear and it idles pretty smooth and uh, look at the tailpipe here no smoke which is I can't believe it so that's good that's gonna save me a lot of uh, work in the future but I will have to take, like I said, the head off and put a new gasket on it. But I'm going to let it run a little bit. And the hoses are starting to uh, get pretty warm. But this is what I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks, months, until I actually get it roadworthy and get it legal. And I'm probably going to drive this thing around this winter, you know. And uh, it'll make somebody a great vehicle. I love my Expedition. But, you know, I'd have five vehicles if I could but um, I'm really happy it's running good it's got fuel injective it's got the fuel injection 4.0 good alternator um, let's see heater hoses are hot which is nice um, that's the only leak I can see let's zoom in there again for you It's kind of funny that it's uh, only leaking right there around that particularly part of the head. And I, I, I'll take the oil cap off. I don't think it'll die. Let's see. Nope. Well, it's pretty good. This has probably got a bad head gasket. But uh, I didn't think I'd actually get it running. I figured it'd be another week or two. <laughs> so this is pretty awesome. So uh, we'll go back in here. Let's run and. I don't have a book on the vehicle. Now, if anybody knows anything about this radio, it says code. I don't know if it needs a code for it to work. I can't get it to work. How do you get a code for it? I don't know. I mean, who wants to steal a cassette deck? I don't know. So, uh, the blower works. Which is nice. Let's see if we got any heat. A little bit, not much, let's see. Like I said, it needs a little bit of more tinkering. Um, let's see. I was trying to find the um, headlight switch. Oh, here it is. The headlights don't work. But it's just little things. I got a check engine light on, so it'll be interesting when I hook the computer up to see what it says. But the temperature gauge has actually come up. I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, the engine's warming up. Let me zoom in a little bit there on that. So it's doing pretty good. And all that. So, uh, looks like it's not going to be uh, too much longer before I get it running. Let's see if this side window works. Let's see. Mm. Hey, yeah, it works. Yay! <laughs> this is great. So, um, it's running. I'm really surprised. It's got 147,000 miles. And I got the anti-lock brake, but my pedal is not that great. Although I can't get the wipers to work. I don't know. Probably fuses in there. So it's sitting out here. It's purring like a kitten. Needs a decent oil change. 
and all that. So I just want to give a little update. So I'm off to a pretty good start here. Uh, this is great. Both of my vehicles run that I picked up yesterday, that and the uh, Mountaineer. It's always a good thing because I like to move it around in the yard when I mow my grass. So this will be a really nice. So I just want to give a little update. It is running. Finally got the motor started. And uh, that's the only leak I see is right over there, which is kind of a shame. That, uh, and I think you can see it down there dripping a little bit still. And the hose is nice and warm. So it's circulating very well. All right, so that's it. I'll go ahead and end this video, and I'll give you guys a little more updates later. And uh, if anybody knows anything about that radio, let me know. You know, it's British. You know, they do their own thing. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll give you guys an update a little bit later. Until then, have a good day, and I will see you guys a little bit later.